Geechee boy Musa here to speak. Nappy boy Musa here to speak. Glitch God Musa here to speak. Yes, nature boy Musa here to speak. We got a story time today. Something light. I'm going to be bringing you something light and right with the story time today. Pretty much the story time is going to be about something that happened to me in sixth grade. Um, I got exposed. I got exposed, man. You know what I'm saying? I got exposed. And it was on my come up of me being popular in middle school. You know what I'm saying? So before we dive into it, though, go ahead and shoot that like button for your boy. Hit that comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you get every video I drop because I'm going to be bringing you more bangers and gems like this. So story time today. Man, listen, I was back in sixth grade. I just made a basketball team. I'm still fresh to the school. I'm still fresh to the school, right? I'm, I just started sixth grade and I just made the basketball team. I was getting my popularity up, getting a little bit of clout in school. Didn't really look forward to having that much clout in sixth grade. Didn't look forward to being that popular. It just happened. Once I made the basketball team, it happened. I was the only sixth grader on the team, right? So everybody knew who I was. Um, no other sixth grader made it. Plus, I was chilling with the seventh, the seventh and eighth graders that was on the team too. You know what I'm saying? So I was chilling with them, bro. I kid you not. I got me a girl, a little, a little snow bunny, beautiful snow bunny at the time. I had this girl. I ain't gonna mention no names, but I had this girl, and dog, I kid you not, bro. Like we was dating for like at least a few months, probably th three, not that long. And I'm thinking she was feeling me and everything, right? She was feeling me. I'm thinking she finna literally like give me some cheeks. So she asked me, can she see it? Man, let me tell you how this happened, man. I sent her the pic of the dick. I sent her the pic of the dick. <laughs> I felt like I could, I, I felt like off the back, I'm gonna get exposed. You know what I'm saying? I, I wasn't thinking. I just did it. I didn't even double think, nor double take. I just did it. So, to keep it real, it's still once I did it, took her a few minutes to reply back. I'm thinking, damn, is she just looking at it? Is she just observing it? Like I wasn't afraid. Like I knew what I had. I got the package deal, baby. Like I got something that's gonna make your world go crazy. Like you know what I'm saying? Like this what I'm this what I'm thinking. I got the package deal, man. You know I got that Louisiana slugger. So she said, she took her a few minutes to respond back, and and that's thing I know. She sent a, she sent her she sent a pic back to me. I look at the picture. It looked like somebody else took the picture from a distance. I'm thinking, what's going on? What's what's going on? Is she with somebody else? Who is she with? That took this picture. Bro, it had to have been her friends, bro. It had to have been her friends, fam. She took a picture. And somebody else was there to help her take a picture. Keep in mind, I don't care about that. I only care about who else sees my shit. Her friends was there, one of her friends, and they saw my shit. She kept the picture and went around school showing everybody my shit. To keep it a buck, I felt like a G. I felt like I'm an OG, you know, I'm good. Motherfuckers know what I'm working with, people know. It was just weird though, because I felt like I gained some confidence and popularity while doing all that, but check this out now, I didn't. I gained a little bit of popularity. I gained a little bit of hoes attention. The thoughts attention, because they wanted some of that Louisiana slugger. Even her best friends was like looking at me crazy. I come back to school the next day. I don't know how fast it took for her to show people. She showed people, her friends, all her friends knew. Even some of the niggas knew. I just had a reputation for having a sl Louisiana slugger. I just had a reputation for having the Hall of Fame badges and being on the team with a Louisiana slugger. I didn't know how to take that, bro. I felt like the second I did that, I lost everything low key. I lost respect. I lost my like confidence level low key, but 
Because, bro, I was getting looked at weird. People was talking to me weird. Like, people just couldn't stop thinking about what they saw. I'm walking through the hallways. Girls looking down at me trying to see the print of that Louisiana slugger. I'm just like, man, I automatically felt like I've been violated. Not thinking I done did this to myself. Did I still get the cheeks? No, I ain't get the cheeks. I just sunk the pick for nothing and never got the cheeks, man. I wasn't I wasn't too much worried about it because I, I kind of felt like somebody else around her around her friend group was gonna try to pass me the cheek. So I wasn't overthinking things. And at the time I was just focusing more on my sports and hooping and shit. And I just did that cause I, I, I just did it. I wasn't thinking. I got exposed. I'm talking about, I felt like she brought my damn average grade up from an A all the way down to a motherfucking C after that shit. Don't keep me wrong. People see the package. So some, some girls want to try. Yeah, some girls, some girls want to try. I, 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 I had seven, seven, seven and eight graders trying me. Trying your boy. I just felt like I shouldn't have done that shit. I, I don't really know who saw it. I just felt like a lot of people saw it and I got exposed for just not thinking. Like, it's tough to just live like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, the reputation wasn't even all that. It was a small time. It was a fast time. Honestly, like, I felt like that shit went by so quick. I enjoyed my middle school years, though. You know what I'm saying? I enjoy going through the experience, dating different chicks, dating the new girls that come to school, seeing new people. And then getting into high school, I, I knew I was going to have a different reputation because most of the people I went to middle school with was going to a different school. I was, and I was going to a different school, too. So once we graduated, I knew I was... I, I knew I wasn't gonna see most of them, you know what I'm saying? But other than that though, man, it 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 it, it was pretty good. I felt like a lot of things could have went smoothly, way more smoother than normal. But I feel like things happen for a reason. I, I feel like that had to teach me to be careful with these girls, no matter how pretty and innocent they look. Some will expose you. <laughs> but I felt like she didn't expose me for the bad. She exposed me for the good because now people know what your boy was working with. And that's not my fault. I'm not saying to come over here and know that I got that. She just so happily showed my business to her friends. And even some of her friends was throwing them, eye, throwing them little eyes at me and looking at me, throwing little hints. Your boy got exposed a long time ago, man. In the peak of middle school, bro. Like literally sixth grade, bro. I got exposed, bro. I, got, I was, a, and then I had to go, I had to spend two more years there. Going into eighth grade, none of them fucked with me. Because me and that girl broke up. We got back together. Me and that girl broke up. We got back together. And next thing you know, next thing you know, we try to talk again in eighth grade didn't work because something happened i'm, I'm gonna say I'm, I'm gonna make another story time about that but something happened though and then they just all hated me including the niggas everybody was just hating me like i'm the bad guy so man but yeah though man i'm, I'm gonna make another story time though man if you like this video go ahead and shoot that like button for your boy hit the comment subscribe turn your post notifications so you get every video i drop this is for you and me. I like doing videos. I like sitting in front of video, uh, in front of a video camera, telling you what I've been through. I'm gonna start giving y'all a lot more story times, um, a lot more story times on semen retention, a lot more story times growing up. If you fuck with the story time, just like it. Don't sit here and watch it, and then don't like it. You like it. Much love, dog. Musa, Geechee boy Musa, signing out. Y'all have a wonderful day. Stay safe. And I got more coming.